Now that we have looked into how to create the plank, I have gone ahead and created several variations of the planks as you can see here. There isn't anything difficult or fancy I did. Just the same way I have cracks on both sides on this one, then I, a large crack here and a crack in the middle of this plank and then slightly breakage at two different ends on this one one large kind of crack here and breakage at three different points notice that i have kind of made the edges irregular on most of these planks so i should be adding kind of more to the stylization this one i kept fairly straight and this one i kept for reusing later or if i want to have uh, perfect plank so once you have these variations and like I said the variation I created the same way adding cut using the cut tool and then moving the vertices inward and applying a different smoothing group to the inner polygons and this way I have achieved these variations now the next step would be to create planks for the roof and that from that I mean these planks are kind of combination of different planks. Now I have combination, I just need to put them in the right place to be used here, here, and also in these places. Now I'll make two sets, one for the roof and one for these, these walls that includes the frontal and the side walls. Now if you ask me what would be the difference, so for these I feel these planks are thicker and wider while this one would be less thicker and also another thing would be here in this reference or concept art I see that these planks are kind of thinner and this one is even thinner than these so this actually breaks the art consistency so for that I will be using same sort of planks on both sides which should be having similar height in order to be consistent on all sides now to achieve the these results having planks being patched up together I will move to my planks and go to the top viewport and I have these variations on side so I will just choose one plank and going to move that to a side then another one and just bring that here and make a copy holding shift and dragging that here and I will put that here then another plank I'll just bring that here make a copy and just scaling that down I should have put this gizmo over here and that I can do by coming to the hierarchy panel and making the effect pivot point here and now if I scale it should scale it from here for all these you can do that and now if I hold shift and bring the other one I will just scale that down and move that to a side and quickly just placing around these planks now the key here is not repeating the planks two consecutive planks should not look alike and now when you run out of the combination to break the monotony or the repetition what i usually do now suppose this one i can make another copy and bring it here and just scale that up like this and now what i can do is go to the vertex mode press f4 on my keyboard so i can see the segments I'll just bring these segments close and these as well. So I have now another combination and that I made really quickly. Similarly, I can do for this one as well. So for the roof, I can have about like four different planks, one, two, three, four, or maybe five. So once you're done with this, uh, I will go ahead and show you my finished product because this is just the matter of time it will take time nothing fancy or difficult in here I'm gonna go and unhide all and this is going to show me what I have done so this is a piece I have done for the roof planks let me just show you in the reference what I referred to it will be this part here now one two three four planks here but I have used instead five one two three four five that shouldn't be a problem at all and then I have a different combination here and this one is for the walls and from that I mean if I zoom out from that I mean 
this part here and the side walls. So I will be using these to cover up the front and the side and these to cover up this rooftop here, here and here. For this top part here, we are going to use the same planks but kind of sizing them a bit down. Now another secret here is consistency would be I am never going to size this down very small as this much and then making copy because then the planks, let me just undo that and make a copy and try to clarify my point. I will never size that down to this much and then make copy of it why? Because if I zoom in, you will notice that these planks are way too small in comparison to this one. So a bit of a size variation is acceptable, but if I go this small, this is going to break the consistency in art. And also another problem would be they will go so small that it will become noise, which I mentioned very early in this tutorial that do not make the detail so small that it becomes a noise. So now that we have created these planks and you can look into this in more detail, there is nothing different in it. I just made copies and made them small and combined these planks. And like I said, the there is no two planks consistently repeating, no two consistently repeating after each other. There is like no repetition mm, clearly noticeable. So I have even made changes to the cracks. Like they, these two planks are exactly the same. But I made a bit of vertices movement here. So these two cracks looked different. Similarly, this plank over here and these are similar. I should be changing the vertices here like going to the vertex mode and just bringing it here. So these two may not look as if they are repeating. Now another thing, once I have all of them placed in proper manner, I will choose one of them and hit attach and try to attach the rest of the plane so they become one object. Now in the next video, we are going to start the placement process.